Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Vyaren and today we're here to talk about how you can make Platinum in 2023. So I'm not going to mention every single way of doing it, however I am going to mention the best ways of doing it. I'm going to show you how you can get your hands on some Platinum. We currently have 1400 Platinum and yeah it's just going to keep rising as long as you keep doing some of these methods. So first of all, Void Relics. So all you're going to want to do is click on the fishes at the navigation and go and farm the relics and basically save them up until you got a full set so let's say i want uh harrow harrow isn't really that expensive so it's a bad one to farm but if i want harrow i would need the chassis the systems the neurotics and the blueprint once i've got all four i will not craft them in the foundry and i will instead trade them so just post in the trade chat you've got harrow prime how much you want to sell it for i've seen them go for as low as 50 platinum so it's not really a good one to start selling however if we keep looking down here we have chroma there chroma is in the c8 chroma is a good one but again not all too expensive either what I have noticed is Mesa is selling a bunch, so if you have Mesa uh, relics that contain Mesa, make sure you start selling Mesa. Or you've got Cora, you've got Necros, Necros is expensive, and also I'm going to show you where to find the vaulted relics, where you can pick up a vault and Loki, which are essentially 180 platinum frames. So, void relics, make sure you're doing them whenever you can and start farming your prime pieces now the next method is by far my favorite just because it's easy it's fast platinum pretty much and that is if we go to navigation here you will see this the arbitration so make sure you do the arbitration make sure you have a drop chance booster when you have a drop chance booster go to the strata relay and try get a drop chance blessing as well because you're going to need this fighter's essence make sure you also have a resource booster and also a loot kitty as well so once you've gone in here usually i stick to the defense missions and the survival missions grenier and infestation i stay away from the corrupted and corpus i absolutely hate them enemy types you don't need to pay attention to this warframe here because it doesn't really matter it's just kind of like a bonus and also these weapons it doesn't matter it's just kind of like a bonus so you don't have to pay attention to them now once you have some vitus essence you're going to come over here and you're going to come to the strata relay the reason is i'm going to show you where you can start spending your vitus essence and what to essentially spend your vitus essence on so as long as i do this uh, these arbitrations let's say twice maybe three times a day i could easily make over 100 platinum a day it depends how long you stay in the arbitration for what I mean by that is the longer you stay in, the more Vitus Essence you're going to get. The more Vitus Essence you're going to get, the more fast Platinum you're going to get. And yes, it is fast Platinum. So you're going to run in to the Strata Relay and you're going to come all the way to the bottom left. As you can see, this sword dude and this is where you spend them. So you've got your Power Donation mods, you've got your Rolling Guard mods. We don't usually buy these unless we really need them. But if we scroll down here, we have these, the Galvanized mods. These are what is going to make you quick Platinum. So which ones do I buy? So I buy the Diffusion, the Chamber, the Crosshairs, the Shot, and the Hell. These are all the ones that I buy, and these do sell really, really fast. So if you're selling them at rank 0, sell them for 20 plat each. And if you are also planning on ranking them up, maybe you've got endo and credits and you've got nothing to spend them on, well, it's simple. Rank them up and then sell them. You could probably get 120 platinum, between 100 and 120 platinum. I wouldn't sell them for less than 100 platinum. But it's up to you guys how fast you want the platinum. So this is by far my favorite method just because it's fast. It's just fast platinum. I don't have to do any more. I just go into the arbitration, get the Vitus Essence, come by the Galvanized Mods, and then I start selling. 
So, we're going to load out here. Also, guys, if you are seeing in the trade chat that someone wants to buy uh, prime parts, uncommon, common, and rare. So, they usually say 100 ducat parts is 10 platinum, uh, 45 is 5 platinum, and then 15 is 1 platinum, or something like that. If you see that in the trade chat, don't fall for it. It's a straight up scam. What they're doing is they're getting a load of prime parts, they're buying them for very, very cheap, and then they're going to have a load of sets in no time, and they are going to flip them for double, triple, quadruple the money. Or quadruple the plat, so don't fall for that one. So, now the final method that I want to show you is Aya. Aya is a currency that's recently been introduced to the game. Now, you go to Deimos, Deimos is the best place to do it. You go to the Necrolish, you talk to Mother, fast travel to her, whatever you want to do, and you start a bounty. Once that bounty started, make sure the Aya is in the rewards. I usually go for the five star bounties. And then we go to the Cambian Drift. We go complete the bounties. And basically the rewards will give us Aya. They drop fairly regularly. Now I'm going to show you where you can actually spend that Aya. But this is probably the best method right now of getting platinum. It's just not as fast as say... Uh, the arbitrations. Arbitrations is fast platinum and it can be a lot of platinum as well. However, this method is basically it's solid platinum, but it takes a bit longer because you are actually farming the relics. And I'm going to show you why. So these relics are about to change. I think they changed tonight actually in the, the time you're seeing this video. I think the relics change tonight. They rotate. So make sure you come back to this uh, station here. And you basically look at what relics are next. So, this is the dude here. We'll talk to him. We will browse wares. And as you can see, we have a load of things here. So we've got a Vault Prime, which I already have. And we've got a Loki. Now, I haven't got any of this currency because this currency you get from like the PlayStation, PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, Steam Store, whatever you're on. So I don't really care about this currency. However, these are what we care about. So these are the relics. They contain Vault Prime and Loki Prime, which are two of the vaulted Warframes, and they do sell for about 170. Now, you don't want to farm these straight away and try to sell them straight away, because it's going to be relatively cheap. But what you can do is basically farm them and save them. And then you can sell them for more later on when the relics are vaulted again. These relics are about to switch. And yeah, this is a really good, probably the best way of making platinum right now. If you're patient with it. If you're not patient, go with the arbitrations. Make sure you pick up enough. So obviously we have three of these and three of these. Why? Because the there's no Vault or Loki parts on the gold mod. So we haven't got as many. But here we've got Vault Neurotics on the gold uh, spot. And we've got Loki Prime Systems on the gold spot. So we're selecting more of these to give us more chances. But that is essentially everything that I want to talk about about making Platinum. Let me know what your favorite method is down below and how you make Platinum. Let me know if this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.